Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you right now that training camp is underway and James Booknight and LaMelo Ball are going at it early. I like that they're being opposed from each other than uh, right now playing on team on the same team because I believe that Booknight is going to be an electrifying scorer for this basketball team and he's going to be much needed. You know, um, rolling into uh, this season coming up. Uh, LaMelo Ball is in year three. He's in year two. You know, uh, like we stated before, okay, you, you, you know they didn't have a serious, you know, acquisition like a DeJounte or, or something crazy in free agency, you know, like some of these other teams did. But they got a team for a players that they're going to build from within that you heard LaMelo state yesterday on his previous press conference. You got Book Knight and, and – um, Clifford, or, you know, one and one right now, you know, um, they understand, you know, what's, what's expected of them. Ladies and gentlemen, we got images right now of the training camp from various people. You know, uh, we seen Scary Terry Rogier in the building. We seen uh, Kai Jones, you know, the list goes on. You know, um, the Hornets are in the gym early. You know, they've been in the gym. Also recently signed Dennis Smith Jr., you know, and it looked like him and LaMelo was on the same team with each other. And I don't think that, because I just tell from the jerseys, you know, um, I see Melo in black. I see um, my man uh, Dennis Smith in black, but I see obviously Book Knight in a different color. So that tells me that they were playing a pose from each other, you know, um, and I think that like I continue to say that's good book night need that because book night gonna have a lot more responsibility this season than he's had in his rookie year so you know uh in my humble opinion you know this all gonna work for him they're gonna need uh book night this season to step up because they don't have a major acquisition you got a great young core of guys that I feel like um everybody fits in everybody's around the same age you know, um, you know, everybody's in their um, mid to early 20s, you know, especially the young guys, you know, um, and I think everybody's going to be able to to uh, build, you know, together. You know, it's not it's not too many people where it's like a completely and in my your leader is young, you know, in LaMelo, you know. So it's not like you have, you know, uh, a situation where you got vets and, you know, and they dominate in the younger guys. You know, this is a perfect blend of talent, you know, um, all are wrapped in one ball, you know, so I'm very excited for the Hornets this season. Uh, just coming off their media day, you would not expect them to be a team that possibly, you know, where people may write them off. Like, uh, I'm going to be 100 with you. Uh, in a couple of weeks, couple of days, people going to be coming out with season previews, and they're not going to have the best things to say about the Charlotte Hornets. You know, but have they ever said anything good about Charlotte? You know, so this season will not be any different. You know, they're going to have to overcome everything, you know, overcome obstacles, you know, um, and just overcome a dominating East, you know. And uh, But I believe that they could do it because, you know, you look at the Knicks, you look at the Pistons, you look at the Magic, you know, um, hell, even Atlanta, you know. Why, listen, you got LaMelo Ball. You should be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with any of them. You know, um, and like I said, with a team that I feel like Clifford is building a bunch of young guys to compliment him beautifully. You know, um, I'm 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 really I'm really excited for that. You know, um, I really think um, I like the complimentary situation that's uh, going to be going on with all of the players. You know, when you got uh, obviously Terry Rozier, you know, on the wing, this dude can shoot it. You know, I believe that Book Knight is going to be an increased shooter. You got the sniper in G3. You got these young players that I feel like Steve Clifford is literally going to mold them around LaMelo in a way that James Borrego could have never. You know, mind you, you got way more accountability. I see, obviously, you see the laughing and joking, but this training camp looks serious business. And I don't know if it's because of the Clifford dynamic. Yeah, Clifford is not the Mark Jackson or anything like that. He's not a home run coach, you know, that some people expect it. But this guy is, this dude is a, is a, is a, is a solid coach. He's an upgrade and he's a culture shifter. You know, when uh, I, from the accounts of the people who have told me, you know, when Clifford walks in the building, every, he commands the whole building, you know, especially the team, you know, just the, his mentality. He's not a, a, a Popovich, but he, he can command, you know, something that Borrego just, I felt like was a goofball and aloof, you know, I think he needs 
to sit on somebody's assistant coaching staff a couple of years and then get another crack at it, similar to what you've seen with Mike Brown, similar to what you've seen with other coaches like Alvin Gentry, and the list goes on. You know, he shouldn't just just hop on to another, you know, situation, especially, you know, the way you didn't have much success at all, if any. You know, so um, truth be told, which I man, I'm very excited, you know, for these Charlotte Hornets. You know, um, we will be giving you training camp coverage. So make sure you're locked down here at Flight Sports TV so you can stay up to date with everything with your Hornets training camp news. You know, training camp is underway. It's day one. You know, um, the Hornets, they got their work cut out for them. Why not the Hornets? That stops. We need to change the mentality. You know, right now, you know, uh, LaMelo Ball looking like he loves Charlotte. You know, a lot of people, they, it's going to be the Zion dynamic. You know, with Zion, oh, man, he's leaving. Oh, man, what are we going to do? Oh, man. Listen, everybody just need to pump the brakes, you know, because before you know it, LaMelo Ball and the Charlotte Hornets could very well find themselves in the postseason. They know they got to get off to a, a hot start early. And that's that's something that LaMelo stated. And I'm going to get into that uh, later on. But LaMelo Ball understands that they can't come out and, and fuck up. You know, um, as you can see, he knows what the, the pitfalls and mistakes they made a season ago. So I think all of that is going to bowl well for them. You know, um, it's all about getting off to a good start for Charlotte because I think the beginning is going to dictate, you know, what their season going to look like. If they get out to a shitty start early, they could find themselves in a world of trouble. Number one, they, they open up October 19th in San Antonio. You have to win that game. And this is a young core. This is a young team. So they got to take the preseason seriously. I don't think the Hornets are a type of team, you know, uh, that could that could pussyfoot around, you know, um in the summer league. I'm part of me in, in the um in the preseason. You got to really get your ass out there. You understand? You can't you can't be out there playing games. You know, you got to really you got to really go out there. And not so much LaMelo needs to go and press the issue. These other guys got to press it. They got to roll into game one of the season in San Antonio. Um, and make no mistake about it. I'm in mean, San Antonio. You writing them off. They're shitty. Let me tell you something. Going down into that building is not going to be easy to get a win down, man, in San Antonio. It's open at night in San Antonio. That building is going to be rocking. You understand? I don't give a damn if they don't got nobody. It's open at night. The, 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 the atmosphere is crazy. In San Antonio, Popovich can laugh and joke all he wants. Yeah, they want to tank. So that's why the Hornets should win that game. But game one is unpredictable. I don't think that... They're going to deliberately tank that game. It's open at night. Why not get the win for the fans? But I do believe San Antonio is moving in a different direction. But that's neither here nor there. You know, um, I just, you know, I just want to let everybody know rolling in the um, preseason is important. That's starting Sunday, October 2nd. You know, uh, so buckle up for that one, you know, um, at 1 o'clock p.m. You know, it's going to be it's going it's to be interesting, y'all. You know, uh, this, this this is this is actually this Sunday is going to be the first preseason game. So make sure y'all buckle up and get ready. Um, and I will be keeping you up to date. Stay tuned. It's Flight Sports TV. We stay, look out for day two of training camp. Charlotte Hornets. We're getting up out of here. And we live, too. Pull up.